Technology has changed a lot since I was in school learning computer vision. In the past, robots were almost caged in one place to do one repetitive task. And now, neural networks has taken, taken over. MHS is a material handling company. Some of the products that we have developed are robotic simulation systems using computer vision, 3D cameras, and AI. What inspired me to pursue computer vision and later on join MHS was a childhood dream. I was also fascinated how robots can understand and perceive the world. The paradigm has shifted where we can use machine learning and AI to directly train with examples. Where we can present image examples and over time uh, the model will learn these. As soon as you change the type of image that you're learning, you could just feed in more images and the neural network will learn. So what is driving rapid adoption of technology in the parcel is a labor shortage. There's increased demand for shipping parcels, mostly from e-commerce. We live in the now economy. I want it now and as fast as possible. And companies started exploring how we can utilize new technology to fulfill that need. As you can see, this machine is very loud and uh, bulky. It's, a, it's an old technology that can be proved through automation and machine learning. We added a camera and a processor basically to analyze the, the images and count how many parcels basically it's seeing as the machine is running. And we pass that information to the controlling uh, computer so we can either slow down or speed up the machine based on demand. That way we can reduce the power that's consumed and extend the life of the machine. Recently, in the last four years, we started building our own products uh, for automation using robots and cameras and computer vision and machine learning. A good example is our robotic singulator. What the robot is doing is using 3D cameras, looking down at a conveyor belt. Using neural networks, it segments out the scene, finds out where the packages are, and then computes how it can pick each one, one at a time. When I first heard that we potentially will have a self-driving car or, you know, my thoughts were, wow, what about all the taxi drivers? What about all the truck drivers? As now I'm part of a company that creates automation, we still need a person to maintain the robot, to write and update software, to annotate data. So part of our jobs that are low-skilled labor will have an opportunity to, to become a high-skilled labor, which actually pays more. So MHS has a partnership with a local university called the University of Louisville. We have a program for students that are still at undergraduate and graduate programs to come and uh, get exposed to working at MHS and facing real life problems. What that does is it really bridges the gap between what is being taught at school and what are the skill sets required after school. So if there's a new technology that's emerging, they're aware of it and they can create a course for that and educate students. In the next five years, I think we'll see a lot more automation and probably different delivery methods. Perhaps drones flying out very urgent parcels. Perhaps we'll see robots delivering the mail from the truck to your house. My industry of the future is material handling and creating a, a facility that we call Lights Out. Parcels would, would come in, they'll sort, there'll be no people working inside, or the people that would work inside, they'll maintain robots. And my contribution is really identifying the smallest possible problem we can solve, and solve it all throughout the industry. Deploy real solutions and help real problems.